Welcome to Ohav Shalom. I'm looking around, and I think everybody has been here before. And everybody has heard me welcome uh, folks before. And so, um, so the usual explanations are not necessary, it would seem. Now, uh, during the week, you know, there's occasions to talk to different people. And uh, among those this week was this good-looking fellow over there, uh, Dean Youngsman. Yeah, Dean Youngsma over there. Now, Dean, uh, raise your hand. See, he's not somebody, no, higher. Oh, okay. And uh, uh, he's not one to call attention to himself. So here he is. He's been coming here for a year. And, uh, but I really didn't know uh, that much about him. So, we, but I found out. And uh, you all should know uh, that, you know, he has written 10 books and a, uh, uh, a thesis uh, also, and as we got into the conversation, I was learning about about their life together, he and Cheryl, you know, they're married 52 years, and I just thought, well, you know, I, 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 was, I was kind of impressed with all, all that I learned, and I thought I'd tell you all about it uh, in brief, uh, because uh, it's very easy for somebody to come to a congregation for a lengthy period of time and because of their modesty, uh, we don't learn. Uh, but, but it seems as though there's really a story behind each of the people who, who come here. So anyhow, they've lived of the gospel, uh, and uh, it's, it's, a real, it's a real thing with uh, Dean and Cheryl to try as much as possible to uh, live a, a life uh, which was what he calls pre-Constantine, before organized religion really became a major influence. Uh, the, simple, the simple stuff uh, that, the, that the Bible is, calls upon a simple faith. Uh, and, uh, and also, uh, there is a, an eschewing of, or a recoiling from the, uh, the things of the world that have crept into uh, uh, the Christian faith, uh, and the Jewish faith also. So, um, and when necessary, and, and so they, he served in a pastoral capacity, an evangelist, and essentially he is an evangelist, I think. And his wife really believes in him because they have, they have really not taken an easy road, uh, but... Um, so, but they have stayed with it. And now, as they're getting into their later years, I think they're very glad of the life that they have chosen. Now, I say this uh, because I think it is important for you to know when there's a couple uh, that has, uh, you know, they've lived uh, example lives. But the thing is, I find out about each, you know, different people's history and their background and what I... I, I'm really so often finding that uh, there are many people here who I don't really know your stories. But as I find out, I really find out that there are people who are spiritually spiritual in depth and that the people who have come here are attracted. For example, uh, this couple that I just mentioned, you know, they knew all about Messianic Judaism before they came here and they had the Messianic vision before they ever came to this congregation. Uh, as have some of you. But the thing is, is somehow or other, there's been a selectivity that we have some real high quality people here. It's amazing. Uh, people come, uh, they go out of their way and they've decided that they want to get back to basics. And they want a real spiritual experience. They're not coming here for social purposes, although uh, there is, uh, there is uh, you know, some... Uh, uh, fruitful social activity. So the thing is, is I'm so glad that we have this Oneg Shabbat where we get to know one another. If there's some of you who come and disappear and don't get the Oneg Shabbat, you're missing about a third of the, of the whole benefit of the congregation where we do find out about one another and it's an encouragement to see that there are others who are really living the life 
really living the life. And we got a lot of them here. And frankly, I, you know, we're not a large congregation, but I feel just so honored to be given, uh, you know, the re responsibility here that what a blessing God has given me to be in association with so many high quality people. So um, still, everybody here has been here before, but uh, for all the people that, whose lives you do know about and are impressed with, let's give one another an applause. Okay. <clears throat> we thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. Thank you for sitting high above the circle of the stars. Thank you for giving us your only Son, your begotten Son, the Holy One of Israel, the Coming One, the Redeemer, the Pesach Lamb, the name above all names, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you for making your law majestic. Thank you that we live in a town, in a time where they trample upon your word. They demean it, they ignore it, they challenge your very existence and, and your word. But Yeshua said he's in the midst of the entire old and new covenants. Every sentence, every jot and tittle, every Holy Spirit connected vowel and every sentence and paraphrase and paragraph says Yeshua it cries out even the uh, even Isaiah 53 which the Jewish people to this day are forbidden to read that's considered the holy of holies because it speaks only of Yeshua there's only one by his stripes we are healed are you kidding me what, what is that supposed to mean God created man upon the earth man then killed man and then man killed God what's up with that he was crucified on a piece of wood, yet he made the hill on which it stood. There's no other name under heaven, and there's no other city other than Jerusalem. Thank you for the privilege and the honor that we stand on holy ground and we're able to lift up your word and proclaim the name Yeshua to the heathen, to the malefactors. Thank you that that's our sole responsibility as we walk the earth, and thank you for all you've done on behalf of Oha Shalom and AIA and all you, thank you for healing all of our diseases, afflictions, pains, and cancers. Thank you for being our everything. Without you, we are, we can do nothing without you. That's what it said in the Bible this morning. Without Yeshua, we can do nothing. And now it's time to sing his praises. Amen.